Hey, Couch Party 2.0. Couch Party 2.0. It's Couch Party 2.0. Couch Party 2.0, West Coast variety. <laughs> Here from the coast. Thanks, everybody. Hi, Thanks, guys. Thanks, Steph. So Michelle. So uh, nice to be here. What a pleasure. Good to be here. Uh, we are uh, very excited. You know, I have to just say that uh, we're very thankful to be here. We're thankful to be healthy. And I personally want to thank all the volunteers and all the people sitting on the couches tonight who are out there registering uh, uh, people and communities and in, people in their communities to vote. Uh, we're very thankful. Uh, my dad uh, naturalized as an American citizen, and one of the greatest privileges that he had was being able to vote. So uh, it is a, a thing that he risked his life to be able to do. So Ooh, don't did. forget that. It's yep. really important to be able to actually vote. You know, we, we just, we've had the COVID-19, made the news. We got through it. Uh, and it's crazy important during this time, particularly around this issue, Hey, we can wash our hands. We can re we can responsibly social distance. We can wear the masks. We can do these things. Some of it is literally the least we can do, but the most we can do is give some props and some credit to all those people who are out there. First responders, delivery people, shelf stockers, food folks, everybody that's working on food banks all around the country in order to keep us all moving. I'm gonna give you some musical ringtones and thanks. Thanks you guys. Thanks the responders. Thank you. <laughs> hey, but tonight is crazy important because I don't know about you, but I wanna vote. I wanna vote no matter where I am. I'm an American. There's no America without a democracy. Our democratic principles mean that I wanna vote. If I'm sick, I have diabetes type two. I still wanna be able to vote. I don't wanna have to go to a specific place to do it necessarily. I will if I can. Well, I mean, that's some of the things is that we as Americans and as voters should be able to request the options that work for us. We, Like Michelle said earlier, we don't want to have to risk our health or our votes. So to make that easy, mail-in ballot, absentee ballot, I think that's a really great compromise. So let's make sure that look online, like they said, when we all vote.org and uh, see what your state is doing to make sure and assure that you can vote by mail if you need to. You know, back in the day, Americans had to get on a horse and ride into town <laughs> on a Tuesday and vote at a, at a place. Uh, but I don't have a horse, so I can't ride one. Now Now we have, since we've got railroads and copper wires and telephones, we have technology at our disposal now that can help us guarantee that every single American practices their constitutional right to vote. Well, so, you, know what? you know who has a horse? Who? Lil Nas X. A little, oh, he, Scott, he rides be. in on a horse yeah, to an is. old town road, well, and you, you can go. vote in an old town. You know, you should, you should be able to vote if you ride a horse into town, <laughs> or if you sign up, if you fill out your ballot at home with a prepaid postage from the United States Postal Service. So even if you want to vote two weeks prior to the election, you can start that democratic process and make it happen. Yeah, because in November, we need to have every voice be heard. All right. Every voice. All right. So here we That's are. important. Here we are. Where we all vote dot now is important more than no, ever. No, where we all vote dot org. I was going to get to that later <laughs> on, but I'm so big. Look, I'm in charge of the music on this on this uh, goofy Zoom thing. So um, we need, every, okay, everybody, your team leaders. Um, I love those. I love those uh, numbers that Benita uh, mentioned. All those 30 millions of certain communities and 17 million communities. The Hanks community is made up of about 17 people, <laughs> and I guarantee we've got them signed up and they're registered. <laughs> if they're not registered, they're going to be registered. So we got our team covered. So thanks for everybody out there that's listening in. Those kids in high school in Detroit, all those people that uh, Michelle mentioned. Uh, can you guys even vote yet? If well, I hope you well, can. Well, they gotta vote by November if they're 18. Well, they, well even if wanna, even I, if they're 16 and they're registering people to vote, they're already they're already investing in America and in our democracy. So, bravo to you, Cat. One of the things that I think is really interesting, though, was that I think between 20. 2004 and 2016, the number of people voting early like doubled. And uh, that's from nearly 10.2 million people to 
uh, casting early ballots to 24.1 million people. So that's a significant number. And in the midst of COVID-19, early voting gives Americans who need to vote in person the opportunity to do so while avoiding interactions with large groups and, you know, taking it that way. So they're not losing their privilege. privilege to you know, democracy doesn't appear like magic. You don't make wishes and suddenly have democracy come true. You got to work at it. You go, we're going to, and that's what the when we all vote.org is going to be happy. As Michelle once said, democracy moves forward, man. It's always on the march. And that means you got to join the parade. Yeah. Parade. That needs a sound effect. <laughs> oh, parade. Da, 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 da. You know, for D nice, I'm going to play a D. That's a D. <laughs> that's the D nice tone. <laughs> Uh, let's so get much. involved, you guys. There's going to be a groovy house party for a, you know, couch party. Couch here for a party. While. Yeah. Exactly. So thanks for coming in. Thanks for doing Thank all that. Thank you for joining us. Now make sure we all stay connected. Whenwevote.org. Whenweallvote.org. <laughs> oh, thank you for correcting me. Whenweallvote.org. <laughs> Slash backslash right twenty twenty <laughs> crazy important. The, the, it's got to be the easiest way to to register to vote in the maybe in the history of our democracy. Thanks, Michelle, for spearheading this. Thanks for having us be a part of it, and thank you, everybody out there, for doing your part as good Americans to guarantee that we all get to practice our constitutional right to vote. It's a privilege. That's right. So and it's a right. It's a privilege and a right. Yes. It's an honor. <laughs> it is. So uh, we're going to send you off now to the big thing. And what's it called? What's it again? When we all vote. Dot org. Backslash 2020. And Couch Party 2.0. Couch Party 2.0. Couch Party. East Coast, West Coast, Central Mountain. Couch Party. Have fun, everybody. Thank you so much, Tom.